So tonight, the, the, the piece I'm going to play is my attempt at kind of like, sometimes you need to like to impose script limitations on yourself after you get like so many plugins and software libraries that like you kind of like know where to like work when you sit down. So I, I kind of wanted to like explore a lot of different like electronic textures and like genres I like, but the goal was I was all, all the sounds had to be derived from my like high school orchestra base because sat around for a long time, too many weather changes happened, kind of doesn't function very well as like a performative bass anymore. Like this thing would not survive in a jazz trio or like orchestra rehearsal anymore. But it does work as like this strange auxiliary sound effect device. So, uh, I mean, as a piece, it's kind of a combination of like tape kind of stuff that can get manipulated on the fly, uh, real time recording kind of altering stuff that adds a little, like a little spice here and there. And then I have some patches on here that um, any any pitch I play from the keyboard uh, is run through custom contact instruments like made by native instruments. But uh, I made sure there's no like, synths or anything. So anything that sounds like a synth being played from here is still like sampled harmonics and stuff from the bass that are like pitched across and altered in ways that sound like Vangelis Blade Runner pads and stuff. Like So that, that was my limitation essentially for the piece was to, you know, make the kind of music I want to make anyway with like too many plugins, but uh, force some sound design experiments as I want. And the, the reason I'm using a QSDs for this is just because like, um, I tried this a few times before, and if there isn't like a wall of sound acting as like a wet dry barrier between like the bass and this, it kind of sounds <laughs> just like I'm clanking like, you know, weird stuff and it kind of like takes you out of it. But, uh, Okay. This spot looks cool just because like uh, I'm not touching the bass all the time, but this originally had a video component, but I realized the video was like adding this kind of confused motion that was distracting from like internal details I had spent so long designing. So I think just like highlighting the fact that like their bass sounds and just letting the bass be its own thing kind of like I like that better as a visual than uh, actually like the video synthesis thing I work on. You're <laughs> back <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you. 